Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to remove a question. So in the previous lecture we talked about Jinja form templates where uh, we could add a question. We basically allowed the user to go ahead and add a question. But in this lecture we are going to allow the user to remove a question and that is going to be the uh, delete part of this CRUD functionality. So what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the HTML for that. So I'm going to say uh, I'm going to come into templates. Let's create the new file. I'm going to say remove uh, question question dot HTML. There we go. Uh, let's insert the markup for this. So uh, we are going to have um, so what is going to be the title? The title is basically going to be remove uh, remove uh, a question we could just say remove a question and I'm going to give it an h1 that is going to say the remove question and the h1 is going to say remove a question there we go so I'm going to have the same pairing that I had in the add question so I'm just going to grab this these two divs from here I'm going to copy them I'm going to paste them here. The class, I'm going to change them to pair. And we have a div. Uh, okay, so we have a div. I'm just going to create, you know what? I'm going to create it from the ground up. So we have a div. I'm going to give it a class of pair. Within this div, I'm going to create um, another div and I'm going to give it a class of question. And in there, we are going to have a paragraph, so it is a little bit different. I shouldn't have copied it. That's the problem with copy pasting. So within this div, uh, I want to show the question. So I'm going to say question dot question. We are familiar with this part. So let's save that. So the syntax is rearranged. Let me just copy the second part, put it down here. And the second one is going to be answer. So answer. And we know we can access this answer by doing question dot answer. There we go. Now, after uh, we, for example, when the user uh, clicks on any question, uh, the user is going to see a button that is going to say, remove this question. And when the user clicks on it, that is where this page is going to come from. That is the new page that is going to come from. So in that page, we are also going to ask the user if the user is sure or not. And the user wants to really uh, remove that question just to provide some uh, a little bit of confirmation. So I'm going to grab a class and I'm going to call it confirmation. There we go. Within this class, I'm just going to write a simple paragraph. Are you sure? And then I'm going to have a form. This form is going to have a method of post. And um, within this, I'm just going to provide a yes and a no. And the way that I'm going to provide these yes, these yeses, and, and this yes and the no is going to be uh, using two different elements. Just to show you, you can go any way you want. So I'm going to give it a type of uh, submit. Don't forget to provide that there. So yes, so whenever the user clicks on yes, the user will be redirected to the home page. Whether the user clicks on no, the user will be redirected to the home page. But for now, I'm going to use an anchor tag. So let's do a URL for URL underscore four. So what is going to be what is the view function that are responsible for redirecting to the root page? That is the welcome. There we go. And it is going to say no just save that so are you sure and we are going to use our post method i think we are done in here uh, the only uh, the, the only other th other thing that we need to add in here is going to be that css styling link which we are going to add it later on so I'm, i think we are done with this model.py uh, i'm going to keep this questions open just in case so now what we have to do is we are going to add that uh, view function that is going to handle the removal of a question. So we had a view function that was uh, responsible for um, adding a question. We need to add one for removing a question as well. And I'm going to add it down below. But before doing that, 
I need to open up this quiz. I need to provide some place where that uh, remove this question uh, link has to appear. So when I say when it, we have to go into quiz.html, it is basically this page which is open. And we know that, right? We have been working with it. And uh, within this page, I want to provide another link, another button that is going to allow the user to remove a question. And when the user clicks on that button, then the user will be redirected to the removed underscore question .html. I'm going to show that show that to you in just a bit. So in, inside the quiz, uh, beneath this button, uh, first off, I'm going to comment this home out. I'm just going to comment it out. I'm going to provide it here. Uh, this is for the sake of styling. As far as the HTML is concerned, you don't have to do this. But just because I want to style it in a different way, I'm going to combine this home link with the remove this question link. That is just for the sake of styling. Right? So I'm going to create a div that is going to have a class of links. The classes, again, they're used for styling in CSS. I'm going to grab that anchor tag from there. So this is going to redirect to home. We need another one that basically says remove this question. Uh, question. There we go. So which what is the view function that are responsible for this one? We have not created that yet, so I'm just going to save that here. We are going to go back and we are going to create that view function. So beneath here, I'm going to say removal. I'm just going to say removing a question. And so we have our app.route, app.route. There we go. So what should be the URL for that? It depends. It completely is up to you. Whatever the you, whatever you want to provide uh, as the URL. I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to grab not that one. I'm just going to create a new one. So I'm going to say remove um, a question. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this URL is going to allow the user to remove a question. After that, we need to provide um, that index. So whichever index it is that the user clicks on, uh, for, for any question that the user clicks on, what is the index for that question? We're going to remove it based on that. So I'm just going to add that integer uh, index as well here. Then we need to, because by default, uh, view functions just handle get requests, we need to specifically or explicitly tell it to handle post requests as well. So in here, I'm going to say def uh, remove underscore question. Let's pass an index in here. And I'm going to provide it within a try block. So if the request dot method is equal to post, if it is post, what does that mean? Now, there are a lot of ways of removing an item from a JSON file. Uh, the, the way that I'm going to go about is just going to be, I'm going to grab my database and I'm going to pass in the index which the user has clicked on. So when the user clicks on remove this question link for this question, what is the index of this question? It is index number eight. So that index will be passed right here and then it is going to be passed into the question and then passed here. So from the database, I'm going to delete the item that has an index number eight. So very simple. I'm just going to keep it very, very simple. Then I'm going to save the database just to make sure the changes are saved. And I'm going to redirect the user. So I'm going to say return redirect URL four to the uh, welcome page, to the home page. Uh, is, it, is the name welcome? the view function yeah the name of the view function is welcome so you just have to pass in for url url4 you just have to pass in the name of the uh, view function i'm gonna i want the user to be redirected to this page what is going to be um, in the else clause so i'm just going to say else in the else uh when the user doesn't want to um, delete that so if the user says yes it means that we are we have a post request but what if the user says no 
we still want to redirect the user, right? But uh, in that case, no question will be removed. So what do I actually mean by that? Let's go into our uh, HTML, where is it? Remove question. So let's first take a look at this. We said that uh, we have a button with a type of submit for yes, and we have an anchor element for no. And what what does it, uh, What is where is the href going to go? The href is going to call for this view function. And this view function is going to, uh, this is mapped by the uh, welcome page that we have or the home page that we have. So let me just clarify this. Whenever the user hits no, the user uh, by this anchor element will be redirected to the home page. And if the user says yes, we are going to check that whether or not that is a post request. So yes, we know it is a post request. So what we are going to do is we are going to delete that element from the that entity from the database. And then after deleting it, we are going to uh, redirect the user to the welcome page. So in both cases, the user will be redirected in, uh, to the welcome page. But what actually comes in the return statement? In the return clause in the return clause we did the same exact thing with the add question uh, what I actually did here was to skip a step so the return is going to actually handle whenever the user clicks on that original remove this question button what do I mean exactly by that so I'm just gonna cut this part I'm gonna create a doc string and I'm gonna put that part in there so I'm just gonna put that there and I'm going to bring this up. Let's get rid of this return. And I'm going to say return. Now, this return statement is just going to render that template. So before actually checking whether the user says yes or no, you have to show that page that the user says yes or no. So I did skip a step and I'm just going to do it again because I've tried to uh, explain everything in detail and skipping a step basically contradicts that ideology that I have. So in here, whenever the user clicks on that button, so if I reload this page, you can see that we have removed this question but if I click on this remove this question it is not doing anything because we have not completed the view function for it so whenever the user clicks on this remove this question where do we want the user to go we want the user to be redirected to this HTML page remove uh, underscore question dot HTML but do we just want it to be do we just want the user to be uh, redirected to this uh, to this page or we just want to show the user that question one more time so you can do this step or not now the way that this is going to work when the user clicks on the remove this question another page will be opened and within that page i'm going to show the user the question and the answer that the user is trying to remove again that are you are you sure you want to remove this then if the user says yes it is going to be removed so just an extra step so I'm gonna say question is going to be equal to DB what is the question the question whichever it is we, we're gonna uh, trace it by the index of that question so if I save this let's reload this page we can see that our server is working now if I click on this um, why are we not being redirected so we are still here um, remove a question index you are gonna grab uh, I'm just gonna grab hmm, return render template remove question is are these the same so we should be redirected to this page where we have this form for post um, hmm remove question this is right here remove question I'm just making sure that the name is not misspelled oh we did not provide an href here we did create the view function but we need to provide the address for that as well now so far this remove this question uh, anchor element it doesn't have any href we can take a look at that here so if I click on it you can see so it is not going anywhere the href specifies where the anchor should be redirected to 
So I'm going to use a URL for URL underscore four. So where do we want it to go? We want it. We want this to call the remove question function. We just want it to call that. So um, let's just put it put it right here. And uh, what is going to be the index? The index of the question is going to be the current index that the question has. So let's save that. Let's reload this page. And now you can see that it has some attribute, some href value for this uh, href attribute. Let me bring this down. So now if I click on it, you can see that we are being redirected to another page. Where is this page coming from? If you take a look at the URL, it says remove a question. And what is the index? The index is number eight. So we are basically in this page right now. In this remove underscore question, it says remove question. Here is the title of the page. Now here it says, uh, do birds fly? Yes. Are you sure that you want to delete this? Of course, the styling is missing. We are going to complete that. Don't worry. But if the user says yes, then uh, nothing happens because we have not actually handled the post method. In here, you can see that we have not handled the post. We are just handling the get where the user is just browsing through our data. So if the user says no, the user is going to be uh, redirected to the main page. What handles this is this URL for that we have added in the no. So now let's go ahead and let's add this post um, method for uh, this button, post method for this button. So the, the question is actually deleted. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this, delete the doc string and come down here. Uh, let's bring this back. Let's just uh, make sure the indentation is correct. Let's save that. There we go. Uh, unex, 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 unexpected indent. So these are on the same line. Okay. So we have try, let's just save that. What is happening here? Uh, line 71. So we have our try block. Let me just bring this back a little. I think two indentations are going to be enough. Just save that. It is going back there. You know what? I'm just going to do it all over again. So I'm just going to say um, try. Within the try, we are going to have an if statement and we are going to grab the request. Come on, buddy. So request dot method. Now we are handling if the user actually wants to remove. If it is a um, post method, it means that the user is actively trying to remove. So we are just going to make it so the user can remove it. We are going to save the database as well. Make sure that these all these indices are spelled correctly because the index of the question that the user selects will be passed to the database so the database knows which index it has to delete. Then I'm going to say a return render template. No, sorry. Redirect. We are after the element is um, removed, we are going to redirect the user to the home page. So I'm going to say URL for uh, what is the view function responsible for the home page? It is welcome. There we go. In the else clause, this is where the get occurs, get happens, and that is where we are going to render the template. So you have to render the template first so the user has the option of yes and no. If the template is not rendered, how can the yes and no, yes and no options be shown to the user? So we are going to say render template. So I'm going to pass in remove, remove a question uh, dot uh, HTML. And then uh, whenever the user clicks on that remove this question button, I just want to show the question to the user again. We have talked about this. So DB uh, based on the index. So I'm in the accept clause. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to handle the index error and I'm going to say abort 404. So let's save that. Hopefully nothing is wrong. Let's run this again. Let's open it with live uh, with open the server. There we go. So I'm going to click on this question. I'm going to uh, bring this here. 
So uh, let's go back, let's refresh this page. So I'm gonna click on this question. You can see that we see that question along with the answer. And we know because it's the last question, the button says start over. We can go to the home page, we can start over, or we can just say remove this question. So if you say remove this question, we are going to uh, call the remove question HTML where we wrote this code. So we have this H1 in the title. Let me just show you the markup. Put it on the right. Everything is a little bit more zoomed than usual, so you can really see what is happening here. So this is uh, our div where we have our question, and you know where the question is coming from. Then we have our answer along with the confirmation div. Now these are separated just because uh, I want to style them differently. Now within the confirmation, we have a form with a method of post. So if the user clicks no, where is the user going to go? See? this is just a single slash what does that mean it means that it is the root url the home page so if i click we are redirected to the home page let's go back there remove this question but what if the user clicks on yes then you can see that that question has been removed from the database so let's reset that uh, let me just put it on the bottom we might need it so just put it there i'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can really see what's happening here there we go so and you can see in the terminal that we had a post request to which url url to this url what was the index of the question it was the index number eight and our database changed accordingly so i'm going to just bring this down close this close the add question there we go so within here we can see that we don't have that question. So I'm gonna go over this one more time. Um, I'm gonna to go to add question. You know what, I'm just gonna add that add question in here as well. So where should I add it? Just let me take a look at it. So uh, within the welcome page, uh, where is our welcome page here is our home HTML this is the welcome page within here I want to add a button that is going to handle the add question functionality I, I basically want to add that so below the title I'm gonna say anchor tag so what is the view function that handles adding of a question it is this view function right so I'm just gonna copy the name of it and let's come here I'm gonna say uh, let's create a ginger variable URL underscore four and I'm gonna call that view function and um, well basically that's it I'm just gonna call that I'm gonna give this anchor tag a class as well again classes are just for styling purposes they are not related to our functionality for database and I'm going to say add, add a new question. Let's save that. Let's reload this page. And there we go. So we have this button. Let's click on it. You will be automatically redirected to add a new question. So I'm going to say, do um, dogs uh, like to jump? I'm just going to add silly question. I know. I'm just trying something. Um, um, I do not think uh, think so so I'm just gonna say create question so whenever you say create question you're gonna have a post request in the terminal to the to which URL to the add new question URL and immediately just as a confirmation we are going to show to the user that question that the user has recently added it is going to be added to the bottom of the database that's why if you end of our database that's why there is a start over button and if we just uh, reload that we can see that question has been added perfectly in here as well uh, we can go to home page we can see that do dogs like to jump you can go to that page you can say start over you can refresh you can uh, oops you can go to that question so let me just click on it and there we go you can remove that so if you say no you will be redirected to the home page but in case you say yes 
you can see that the database just changed. So if you come here, it, it has been removed from the database. We don't see it here as well. And that is basically our functionality. So with this, our entire application has come to an end. The next series of lectures, I'm just going to show you how you can style this application to look like something I just showed you. I showed you in the start of this not just, it was like a thousand years ago. So I showed you uh, at the start of this chapter how you can style it. The As far as the functionality is con uh, concerned, we are basically done. So make sure you go over this functionality. Make sure you just click around and check if there is anything missing. So starting our next lecture, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to handle the styling of um, our HTM, our um, full stack multi-page application. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.